Data synchronization between head office and branch office. This presentation will give you an overview on using data synchronization feature of Busy that is synchronizing or merging data between head office and branch office. This is a very powerful feature of Busy in which you can create separate companies for head office and branch office that is the various branches located at different locations and can synchronize data in between them. For example, you have created certain masters at head office company, then you can sync them at branch office, that is you can send their data in branch office. And similarly, when you enter transactions in the branch office, you can send them back to head office. An important thing here is that this works on an offline mode. Basically, you require internet connection only while syncing data. Otherwise, you can feed data separately into the branch office and head office and merge them only when required. You will require internet connection only at the time of merging or synchronizing data. To use data synchronization feature in Busy, you need to perform the following steps. Step 1. Create and configure company for head office. Step 2. Create and configure company for branch office. Step 3. Create masters at head office. Step 4. Sync data that is masters you have created from head office to branch office. Step 5. Enter transactions at branch office. Step 6. Sync data that is transactions that you have entered from branch office to head office. First of all, we will perform our first step that is creating and configuring company for head office. Here we are creating a company by going to company create company option. We have given the name as Bharat Electronics Head Office. We have appended the word head office so that it can be easily recognizable that this company is for head office. Enter various details related to the head office, then number of the head office and click save button to create the company. Enter super username and password. This super username and password belongs to head office only. We have given admin as super username for the head office company Bharat Electronics head office. Now first of all features option screen is appearing. In the features option screen click the enterprise features tab and enable the multi branch details feature. By enabling this feature we are giving a message that we require multiple branches in this company. Click branch details button to create new branch and configure it. First of all you need to click add branch master button to create a new branch. Here we are creating a branch with the name Rajasthan and have specified why in the voucher series group user and material center. With this a voucher series group a material center and a user with the name Rajasthan will be created automatically. Specify address for the branch, specify state for the branch and we have tagged voucher series group Rajasthan with this branch. Click save button to save the configuration. Similarly if you have more branches then you can create branch for other branch offices also. Next we will enable the option of enable HOBO data sync. By enabling this option, we are specifying that in this company, we require HOBO data synchronization. Next, we will state our status, that is whether this company is a branch office or a head office. We have specified it as head office and have clicked the configure button. On clicking the configure button, we will specify the configuration of head office data synchronization. First, we will select the branch, that is for which branch we are doing the configuration. We have selected the Rajasthan branch. Next, we have specified why in the enable data sync for this branch, that is we want data syncing from this branch. Next, we will configure masters for data synchronization, that is we will specify that creation and modification will be allowed in head office, branch office or at both the locations. Here in the masters we have specified that masters can be created and modified at branch office and as well as head office. Next we have enabled the options of updating account, item and material centers opening balances in HO and PO. Next we have specified that sales voucher can be created at head office as well as branch office. Now we'll click the save button. On clicking the save button, Busy has shown the message box that vouchers can be created only at one location. That is if you are creating a voucher at branch office, then you are not allowed to create that voucher in head office. And vice versa also, that is if you have rights of creating a voucher at head office, then, then you cannot create voucher for that particular series in head office. So. We have changed the configuration. We have specified that sale and purchase vouchers will be created and modified at branch office and payment and receipt vouchers will be created and modified at head office only. Click save button to save the configuration. On clicking the save button, a message box appeared showing that voucher numbering at some series is set to not required. You have to change the voucher numbering to either manual or automatic. 
it is recommended that you set the voucher numbering to manual with this we have finished our first step that is creating and configuring company for head office now we will perform our second step that is creating and configuring company for branch office for this we will go to company menu create company here we have specified the name as Bharat Electronics Rajasthan branch Rajasthan branch we have appended so that we have a clear cut idea that this company is a branch office company belonging to Rajasthan branch specify various details related to the company that is branch office and click save button to create the company specify username and password here we have specified super user name for the branch office as Rajasthan itself now we'll go to features option enterprise features tab and enable the option of enable HOBO data sync on enabling this option we'll specify our status that is this company belongs to branch office and not head office click configure button on clicking the configure button first of all we'll specify the head office details for data synchronization that is we will read these details from any server file or we'll specify the server information server information basically refers to the server at which the head office company is located we'll specify the server name user id and password and then company information for data sync this company information means head office company information we have specified the company code as com0001 that is at this server this particular company having company code com0001 belongs to head office company that is in this company data synchronization will be done next we have specified the branch name and then the username for login that is at this company at the head office data from the company you are creating or configuring will be sent with the username Rajasthan and will be tagged to Rajasthan branch only next we will specify auto data sync settings that is enable auto data sync you require data sync or not or shall busy ask before data syncing or enforce data syncing enforce refers to automatic syncing of data that is all the work is totally automated on clicking the save button a message box appeared which is showing that do you want to create material center and voucher series for this branch click yes button next a message box appearing showing the path and file name of the log file that is when a log file is created if you want to view it then the path and the name is displayed on the screen next we will again log in from the head office that is we'll go to Bharat Electronics head office company and create various masters at the head office first of all we'll create the account master account add option we have created an account master hurry home electronics with its group as sundry creditors next we'll create an item master with the name sony bravia led tv specified its group is television and have specified its sale price and purchase price sale price is 32,000 rupees and purchase price is 27,000 rupees and tax category is 12.5 percent now again we'll go to branch office and receive data from head office that is we'll receive the masters created at head office and using those master we'll enter various transactions we have logged into the Bharat Electronics Rajasthan branch from the Rajasthan user now first of all we'll go to administration data export import exchange data with HO option here this is showing that one account one item and one item group masters are to be received from head office we have created one account and one item master but item group television is not created at branch office hence it is also picked automatically click receive data from HO button to receive data from HO now we'll enter various transactions first of all we'll enter a purchase voucher here you can see Rajasthan series is created automatically party Hari Om Electronics is appearing here although we have created this party at the head office level this is now being shown in the branch office also item Sony Bravia LED TV this item also we have created at the head office and now it is in branch office also purchase price 27,000 rupees we have specified in the head office click save button to save the purchase voucher next we are entering a sales voucher this sales voucher is for cash sales and the item is Sony Bravia LED TV and you can see selling price is being picked as 22,000 rupees next we will enter a payment voucher here you can see while entering a payment voucher busy has shown a message box that voucher in this series will be added by head office only if you have remember while configuring branch office configuration we have specified that Rajasthan branch can enter only sale purchase transactions and not payment receipt transactions now we will go to 
data export import exchange data with HO option here busy is showing that one sale voucher and one purchase voucher is to be sent to BO click send to HO button to send this data at the head office now again we will log into the head office and receive various transactions created at branch office here in the data export import we'll go to receive data from BO option and we have received one sale and one purchase voucher from the branch office you can view the list of purchase voucher here it is showing the same purchase voucher entered at the branch office and in the list of sales voucher you can see the same sale voucher entered at the branch office so you can see the various transactions you have entered at the branch office are now part of head office next we will enter a payment voucher for the Rajasthan branch we have selected the series as Rajasthan party as Hariom Electronics and bank as State Bank of India that is this payment is made from State Bank of India now again we'll log into branch office and receive the payment voucher from head office here we'll go to data export import exchange data with HO option and busy is showing that one payment voucher is to be received from head office click receive data from HO button to receive this payment voucher at branch office now in the list of payment voucher you can see the same payment voucher you have entered at the head office is now appearing in the branch office so it is a very powerful yet easy to use way of synchronizing data from head office to various branches located at different places you can work in offline mode that is you can enter various transactions at the branch office separately and can send them to head office as and when required similarly you can create various masters or enter transactions at the head office and can send them to bio as and when required hope after going through this presentation you would be able to easily synchronize data between head office and branch office Thanks for watching. For more videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel.